Hi, I'm Dr. Padmavati Surupaneni, a dermatologist practicing in Hyderabad. I have a 15 years experience in dermatology and aesthetic procedures. I do treat all common conditions like acne, pigmentation, hair loss, etc. And I do aesthetic treatments also in these conditions to treat the sequelae. I do practice in Pragna Skin and Laser Clinic, which is uh, located in Panjakuta and Banjara Hills. Acne is a skin condition that starts during the early stages of puberty when the hormone changes cause the sebaceous glands to produce excess sebum in our skin pores. Skin pores are tiny openings of the sebaceous glands or oil glands which produce the skin's oil or sebum which keeps our skin moisturized, soft and supple. Our skin pores perform an important function of flushing out all excess oil, dead skin cells and other toxins from our skin which is why normal sebum production is important for healthy and glowing skin. The problem starts when our skin starts producing excess sebum or oil. The extra oil mixes with dead cells and other pollutants and get trapped in the hair follicle and clogs or blocks the pores. These clogged skin pores cause the skin to break out in an inflammation known as pimple or acne. Actually, no, I think that it's time we burst this myth of only teenagers being affected by acne. Although acne problems start during the adolescent years, adult acne does affect 25% of men and 50% of women at some point in their later years. Also, in case of women, specifically hormonal swings during their menstrual cycle, pregnancy and menopause can result in acne breakouts. In addition, there are other factors such as medications, stress, diet and genetics that contribute to the acne breakouts. I will answer this question in three parts. Now, firstly, our food intake has a direct relation to our health and in particular our skin. What you ingest will show on your skin. Technically, acne is a hormonal condition and hormonal fluctuations will cause an acne breakout. But I would advise a diet which is rich in omega-3 fatty acids, that is like fish, can prevent skin inflammation. Lots of green vegetables in your daily meals are rich in antioxidants and these antioxidants can keep your skin glowing. And cutting down on sugars, that is a diet which is less in glycemic index, can help lessen your skin issues and can keep your acne away. And drink lots of water, preferably eight glasses a day to avoid dehydration and to flush out your bodily toxins. And stay away from junk food if you want that radiant and glowing skin. Intake of skimmed milk had proven to aggravate acne. As far as facial hygiene is concerned, keeping your face clean is essential to remove all the dirt and pollutants and even dead skin cells, including a regular gentle cleanser in your daily routine, morning and night, with a cleanser designed for acne-prone skin, that is, an oil control cleanser, which is containing salicylic acid, benzoyl peroxide or tea tree oil, can help with mild breakouts. Use water-based non-comedogenic products like moisturizers and sunscreens to prevent the breakouts. Lastly, your query related to the makeup, well, that depends if the cosmetics you are using are affecting or even contributing to your skin blemishes. If yes, then you need to stop using makeup until the acne breakout is cured and even after consult your dermatologist before resuming the makeup usage. If you insist on using makeup, then make sure that you opt for products that are not opaque and mineral makeup is preferable. See, this is not a one-size-fits-all kind of a situation. It is different for different people. In my experience, with some of my patients, I have seen where acne have faded away with the daily skincare routine 
with age in milder cases and severe cases have been cured after treatment but there have also been cases where even after treatment the acne breakouts have not fully gone away this may be due to genetic history of the patient also apart from hormonal imbalance stress levels certain medicines or foods can also further worsen your acne which have to be addressed They all important information, isn't it? See, before starting any cure, the one thing to determine is the type of the acne and the cause of the acne. Whether it is a whitehead, blackhead, papules, pustules, cysts or nodules. Also, we need to take into account some of the important factors such as your gender, age, severity, duration of the problem, any hormonal imbalance you have before commencing the treatment. There are several treatment options available for treating the acne breakout. Many acne fighting cleansers, toners and lotions which have salicylic acid in them. It helps clear dirt, skin cells and other debris that lead to acne from the pores of the skin. Skincare products that contain topical retinoids, antibiotics or benzoyl peroxide are known to treat acne breakouts. This helps reduce P acne, the bacteria that cause acne and remove dead cells from the skin. But that does not mean that all patients can be treated in the same manner. There have been cases where salicylic acid and benzoyl peroxide, even tretinoin, has caused dry skin, irritation, red or peeling skin, etc. In these cases, the alternative is to use less medication, sometimes no medication, and avoid skincare products that may cause an adverse skin reaction. In case of inflammatory acne, oral antibiotics are used as a cure. For women who experience a significant acne breakout with hormonal imbalance like PCOS, oral contraceptive pills may be prescribed as an acne therapy. Antibiotics help by killing excess skin bacteria and reducing redness and are often combined with benzoyl peroxide to reduce the likelihood of developing antibiotic resistance. Oral retinoids are prescribed in severe and resistant acne not responding to the conventional therapies to cure the zits. Other therapies that can be used to cure acne either as a standalone or in combination with your daily home care routine include lasers, chemical peels and extraction of the comedones like the blackheads and whiteheads etc. My point is that there are multiple treatments available to fight acne but the smart thing to do is to consult your dermatologist to find out the most suitable mode of treatment or the skincare product that works best to your acne type and severity. Scarring occurs frequently as a sequelae. It depends on your healing tendency and the severity of the acne. If your skin have a tendency to heal with pigment after any injury, your acne also leave a dark spot. If the acne is severe and cystic, it may leave a depressed or an elevated scar. One thing you have to keep in mind is, you should never pick your pimples. This causes more inflammation and the damage will be worst. Following regular acne care and medication can prevent scarring to some extent. Definitely, pigment scars and red scars can be treated with peels and Q-switch lasers and IPL therapies. The pitted scars are treated with fractional ablative or non-ablative lasers as well as needling therapies. To book an appointment with a cosmetologist or a dermatologist in your area, please visit www.skinandhairacademy.in.